So again, what we're looking at here is the World War II freighter mail chase in 205 feet of water. We're off the coast of North Carolina, south of Oak Coke. It was actually sunk on April 9th by the U-160 uh, by two torpedo hits on the port side. Oftentimes the structures that rise higher or taller off of the seafloor are going to have um, more fish or a greater variety of fish on them. So our focus is on understanding how fish are using these shipwrecks for their homes. So for us, being able to spend more time underwater, get eyes underwater using the tools like remotely operated vehicles is very valuable. I just want to add that I don't think I've ever seen that many jackknife fish. I mean, that's crazy, like how many there are. <laughs> Usually you just see a group here and there, and that's it. And to me, this is just absolutely stunning. It's this unique fusion of the history with the biology and ecology um, that these shipwrecks are now forming a home for so many diverse organisms from animals like the worms that we've seen, um, corals, um, other filter feeders, algae, all the way up to small bait fish and large predators like sharks. the perfect mixing of the historical content, which is so important for us to document, but now how its role has changed from uh, what once a transport of war is now, you know, an oasis of life.